There has been stereoscopic 3D almost since still photography was invented. The goal of 3D stills and motion pictures is to show each image to each eye and to each eye only. The brain sees 3D when each of your eyes sees a slightly different image, one offset by a couple of inches to the other, and combines them for a stereoscopic view. The earliest method was anaglyphic, in which each image is shown through a colored filter. Glasses are then worn with those same lenses, so each eye sees only one image. Experiments were done and motion pictures were made as early as the 1920s. One of the earliest surviving reels of test footage was shot by the Lumiere brothers in 1934. By the late 1930s, however, a much better method of presenting 3D was invented by Dr. Edwin Land, founder of the Polaroid Company. Two strips of 35 millimeter film are exposed in a special camera. One for the left image, one for the right. Then, to show the film, two projectors are used. The projectors are set up to run in perfect synchronization and the images are shown through special polarized filters. They are shown on a silver aluminized screen which keeps the images from depolarizing. Those two images then bounce off the screen to the viewer's eyes. The viewer wears the same special polarizing filters in their glasses. The viewer's left eye sees only the image shown by the left projector. The viewer's right eye sees only the image shown by the right projector. And miraculously, the brain combines them into a stereoscopic 3D image. This new system of showing 3D premiered at the 1939 World's Fair using a stop-motion short entitled, In Tune With Tomorrow. In 1940, the short was redone in Technicolor and was thus the first film ever shown in full color and 3D. Throughout the 1940s and early 1950s, a few short subjects were shown in the older anaglyphic method but it wasn't until Arch Obler produced Bawana Devil in 1952 that the 3D craze really took off. From Bawana Devil until Revenge of the Creature, exactly 50 movies in English were produced and shown in the new Polaroid system. Most of the films in the golden age of 3D had huge 3D releases, including House of Wax, Hondo, Kiss Me Kate, Creature from the Black Lagoon, and it came from outer space. Many were even presented in stereophonic sound as well. In fact, House of Wax, with glorious warnophonic stereo sound, would have been the first film most people ever heard with stereophonic sound. Alas, stereo tracks for this film no longer exist. But 3D production started slowing down in late 1953. And although various films were released in 1954 and 1955, by late 1953, 3D had more or less run its course. There have been various theories as to why this is, but most don't hold water. The movies were bad movies, for example. But if you actually look at the list of those 50 films, they're no better or worse than any other 50 randomly selected movies. Some, in fact, are terrific films, including Dial M for Murder, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, Kiss Me Kate, a major MGM musical, House of Wax, and so forth. There were some problems with actually showing the films. The projectionists had to be attentive throughout the showings, and sometimes the films would go out of synchronization. But these films were, for the most part, shot by major studios, by A cinematographers. When shown correctly, they are breathtaking in terms of their photography. Contemporary writers discuss the old red-blue glasses, which gave viewers headaches. This is simply not true at all. As mentioned earlier, all of the Golden Age films were shown using clear Polaroid glasses, not red-blue anaglyphic glasses. 
Comic books were released in anaglyphic 3D in the 1950s. The Creature from the Black Lagoon and It Came from Outer Space were reissued by Universal in the 1970s in anaglyphic. And this may be what some people are remembering. 